Good afternoon. This is the National Weather Service in Anchorage, Alaska, with Tuesday's Alaska statewide weather. Intense storm system crossed just north of the Perbloff Islands earlier today and brought 75 to 85 mile an hour wind gusts with rain to the area there. Wind and rain pushed into the southwest interior. Cold Bay and Falls Pass had wind gusts to 68 miles per hour with about half an inch of rain. Light rain had pushed across Kodiak Island and into south central Alaska today, but amounts are quite light, as well as along the North Gulf Coast. It was drier to the northeast and to the east, and it was partly to mostly sunny over the southeast coast and dry for the Arctic coast and north slope, and winds were becoming lighter with dry conditions over the Aleutians. That in association with a area of high pressure that will shift eastward into the central Bering Sea later tonight as the weakening storm center crosses the Aleutian Range and moves in toward Kamishak Bay. Look for uh, gusty winds and rain to continue over south central Alaska and the North Gulf Coast and strong westerly winds possibly to 50 miles an hour will occur over B Bristol Bay but winds will diminish considerably with a high wind warning ending for the Perbloff Islands at 7 p.m. tonight. And for Wednesday, high pressure builds over the eastern Bering Sea for much lighter winds and dry conditions from the Perbloff to the eastern Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula with a chance for some clearing. It will be mostly sunny and breezy for Kodiak Island. And showers will persist over the Kenai Peninsula and the Chugach Range into the Copper River Basin as well as along and west of the Alaska Range to about the Kuskokwim Mountains. Look for periods of rain and showers over the central interior eastward to the Canadian border and actually into the Yukon with some scattered showers to the northwest. On Thursday, a next weaker front pushes some rain and an increase in the winds to the western Aleutians. High pressure builds over Bristol Bay with a center right near Nunavak Island. A couple of weak disturbances moving around the northern perimeter of the high will produce areas of showers over Norton Sound and the Seward Peninsula. Another area will produce showers and areas of light rain from Denali Park northeastward to the upper Yukon River areas to about Eagle. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm David Percy.